Gotta get a house here. I'm gonna see if they want the bathtub taken away if they're home or not. We'll see. Doors open, but they're doing a rental here, so got a bathtub and a sink there. We'll see. Some junk in the garage, but they may, may be taking it probably. Right. Okay. okay, hold on. I'm taking the metal the back up. He's throwing one sink there. So a few things in the pile I'm gonna grab too. Uh, I'm no, I'm okay. Thank you very much. Uh, is it a heavy one? Yeah. Okay, sure. Some, sometimes they're light and sometimes they're heavy. No, no, it's heavy, too heavy. Yeah. Inside it's too heavy. Okay, we'll turn a bit. We'll lay, lay this way up. Perfect. There. Yeah, that one. No, I just take the metal. metal. That one's fiberglass. <laughs> These paint cans, maybe dry metal. I think I got it all. Yeah, that'll be it. Okay. Just don't drop the fan here. I got this thing. I talked to the guy owner for a while, but I got something else here. Not sure if it's aluminum or what this is here extruded or something. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to look into a better detail. What's this here? Bunch of garbage and stuff. Okay, so stupid place to put a garbage uh, right there, a bus stop. But that's uh, what they do here. Okay, I'm gonna dump this off here. The air is so thick today, man. I'll tell you, yesterday was bad. Today's even worse. Um, it really tired me out yesterday from that to air. It was kind of like huffing and puffing, breathing really hard, but I didn't notice it as I'm doing it, but my nose is plugged, but I was breathing through my mouth, so it sounded pretty noisy on the video that I noticed, but anyways, uh, that's how it goes. Um, it's Sunday today. It's right now it's six o'clock at night. I stayed home all day pretty well because just the air is too bad and, and I was tired, so I kind of slept in nice and cool. But the, it's a smoke advisory. Right now, this is not the clouds, it's all smoke right now. They said the particulate uh, is really high particulates in the air. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe something will pop up. And then I saw this renovation they were doing there. They've been doing this for about the last few weeks. The house just sold and they're renovating a bit. Anyway, so I got a few things out of there. I'm happy, get, got me actually a, a sink. Happy to get that sink. 
and a few things here and there so you just never know we're gonna zigzag around this area a little bit here and then head back to my yard drop it off but uh, I'm not expecting a lot but I'm not gonna do nothing too too much outdoors just because the air is really bad but I'm gonna do a little bit uh, you know get in the car do something pick a few things up or whatever but I'm not doing no no major processing today but my goal of the bin is I'm gonna empty the bin of all the tin leave all the heavy stuff in there look see this pisses me off when I see stuff like this we're you know we're not like a third world country look at the crap they dump in here this totally pisses me off here why do this in front of the park it's ridiculous what people do you know to dump that garbage is nothing you think you throw most of that stuff into your own garbage bin but people are just dumping like crazy it just makes me sick right you know we're a rich country here every house is here a million dollars plus and they have to dump garbage like that come on anyways whatever but I was just gonna say I'll dump all the tin out of there leave all the heavy stuff in there and, and make all the heavy stuff put all the cages in there take one load in a big truck this way you know I could just dump it in one shot I'm gonna see if I can somehow if I go on the the scale of this at uh, the garbage dump they're charging money now it used to uh, they used to be free but now they want money but whatever they go in uh in kgs but i might tell them well, can you put it in pounds if not i have to calculate 2.2 on top of the final there so people are dumping dumping stuff out like a, you know why would these guys dump paint cans like that you can go to a recycle center and dump all those paint cans why put on a street like that doesn't even make sense i mean they, just makes you wonder what people do well see there's people are dumping lots of garbage i can't believe it but it's not even metal it's just junk like a door one door here and this is just garbage you're dumping out there's not spring clean up or any kind of clean up there are two chairs a beater dresser right beer is not even there it shows you people I mean, sometimes people can use stuff, but it's getting to a point they're just getting ridiculous when they throw stuff out. If it's total garbage, it's garbage, right? Same with they threw a baby, baby seat here. You know, you're not going to put a, a newborn baby in something that's all dirty or maybe not too outdated. You don't know. I mean, it might be good, but you just don't know. When you have a newborn baby, you want it clean, sanitary. You know, you want something that's, you know, still valid, right? They expire every couple of years, expire those things. And then the plastic gets uh it goes soft to, to brittle and then then you know, on impact it could probably disintegrate possibly right that's why you, even hard hats hard hats are good for so long and after all the date code you know they break plastics break down right same thing well so far garbage but uh you never know but these streets keep giving all time i always get stuff in this area always there's always something coming out so I don't have to drive for miles because drive near my areas and just cherry pick with, if there's anything there I can grab it. So, uh, you know, no one knows. I don't know how much room, but if there's something here I can whiz back. The yard's not too far and then unload it and come back. But if there's anything small, I can put it in right away. A lot of for sale signs popped up all of a sudden. I think people are gonna have a lot of time hell of time to pay their mortgages with all the interest rate coming high. Everybody's locked in really low, like a one, two percent. Even if it goes up 2% higher, you know, on say a $500,000 loan or a lot of times people put $100,000 down in their, their uh, principal amount they own is like nine, eight, nine hundred thousand. So interest goes up one or two percent. It's a lot of money, big, big cost to override. And some people may not even qualify. Who knows what will happen? Banks would just say, hey man, sorry, we can't, we can't get loaning any more money. I mean, banks could do anything they want, right? They, they're the ones with the money. People speed like crazy here. You can see the sun up there. The sun is all orange. They said it was gonna clear up, but it looks really bad actually. The, you don't see it here. You'll see it in the distance, the haze. But it, it, may, it may have cleared up a little bit now. It's a little bit of wind came, so it, it is clearing up a little bit. As you can see the wind there, see that? So I may blow it out here, hopefully. But yeah, it was so hot that day, muggy and hot, and half of that stuff was so heavy. People were saying, once you fill your van up higher, well, I'm not gonna fill it higher and break my springs. I had over a thousand pounds in that van already. And if I'm driving 
500 feet well why would i you know if i'm going miles it's a different story i'm only going for, i'm only going around a corner into my yard the site is that close so i'm not going to overfill my van at first when i went there i took all the i cherry picked all the good stuff if you watch what i took it was all the value stuff i left the heavier clunkier stuff heavy steel or the heavier stuff behind i mean i know what i'm doing i mean I've done this long enough and they said i should have piled my van my bin better well what was wrong with my bin I got everything I wanted basically I mean they're bringing stuff up slowly it's not like you know I didn't know what they're bringing you know they told me they show me something but they bring something different out that's a problem anyways it was good it worked out good at uh, two I would say considering about almost two full loads and a little red it was actually three but it was almost two two full good loads and three quarters of bin it's not bad I mean those metal cabinets are not super heavy just bulky right i mean they're probably about i don't know 70 80 pounds maybe but just bulky right it was good it was a good uh, pickup super happy but there'll be more stuff coming there'll probably be uh so many things that when oh there's something straight ahead it's, it's like a bar fridge from here they had a whole bunch of uh uh in a workshop a little bunch of drawers and cabinets so there's a chance it's gonna be a bunch of uh you know scrap metals in that too right possibly it's furniture a chance to be more and they got lots of machinery still they're in little looks like out, outdoor freezers like stand-up cooler type things they got about i don't know about 10 of them and they're all full of different kind of machinery outdated like planers and weird things like that this is just junk there's quite a bit of stuff out today actually but not for me but you know some of the stuff may be usable but i don't know We'll swing a couple more streets here and then we're gonna dump this off. Oh, well, there's a fridge right here. See, I'm gonna do go back, dump my load, take this fridge. See, fridge right there. Could be a nightmare fridge, but we'll see. It's not too dirty. If it's dirty, I put upside down, like flat in there so nothing drips out. But you know, I'll take it to the van right away. But it's a chair here, but I don't take really take those chairs. I'll take them if it's a pickup or see my garbage removal I'll take it but I'm not gonna actively pick that up it's not worth it if I saw lots of metal on there like a big aluminum base and you know metal handles it looks better right when it's all plastic 90% plastic you know I have to be selective right even though scrapyard rips you off or tries to rip you off or whatever they're doing something doesn't add up but Regardless, I still kind of have to have a decent load in my mind, right? I feel better if it's pretty decent. But, so we'll see. So not, not much out here. But it changes all the time. That's a problem. You just never know. Every day is a different day. If you're if you scrap and you do your neighborhood, you know you don't wait for garbage day. The stuff gets thrown all the time, all different times. Advantages when you can look up streets is good. It saves you a lot, a lot of driving. You can see a lot looking up streets. Oh, there's a garbage there. See, you look up a street, you get a bike, bike in a, uh, one of those portable beds. See, trash is there. Last time I took trash, a bad tub with them. The SUV is. Legs are kind of nice, but the table's shot. Anyways, it's the near top. It's an old one. That's pretty, pretty old. Probably 100 years old. Okay. 
Looks great to look in. Looks bad. Hey guys! Hey guys! I'm gonna take your fridge, okay? Okay, sounds good, thanks. side there. Thank you. Have a good day. It's actually heavy for it. probably about 200 pounds. It's okay. I'm going to send it back to the yard and then I'm going to May cruise a little bit, we'll see. Okay. I just drove by here. I don't know, but I didn't pay attention. Maybe I didn't see it, but we need her. Hmm. Never even seen it, but I drove by here once or twice already. Unless someone put it there. Just like just now. Who knows? I think I would have noticed it, but anyways, whatever. Like I say, you just don't know. Things get thrown out just like that. That one's dripping tranny fluid already. Came out of there, so maybe it was just dumped recently. Okay, so... Is that another fridge? No way. It wasn't there earlier. Isn't that weird? Everything comes in twos? It wasn't there earlier. I just drove this road. They just do that out now. Looking at it now. What's this? What's this here on there? Needs beer fridge. Oh, scrap fridge. I'll do all that. It wasn't there a second ago. I'm gonna go back to the yard again. Hard to believe, huh? Have to look inside, make sure it's not like disgusting. Rotted food. Sometimes they're full, full of food. lot lighter than the other one the other one's old but how's that work everything's in twos time see I just drove by here and I saw two items that weren't here earlier that I know of. the fridge for sure rad it could have missed okay head back to the yard dump good it. Shot. Uh, it looks pretty hazy but it was worse earlier and the wind kind of blew it out so we can see straight ahead that's the newest minister up there the newest minister that way like not see much on this street, but I'm going to go on the lower road here. Try that, see what happens. Hmm. A little bit of weight by the mortar part. It's probably like a 10 pounder. Look, there's no car a second ago, and boom. Instantly a car. All plastic wood. Not really worth dripping when they're all full of plastic, but because when they're plastic, you usually don't have much copper. Just have a little compressor, a little bit of copper, and then stainless steel bowl. And sometimes the bowl usually is wrapped. I mean, mostly copper, I think. But anyways, got a power cord on there, probably half a pound of copper. Are worth about three dollars in, in scrap value, but if I take it in the way it is, it's probably worth a buck fifty. The way it is, uh, the air is really hard to like. You can feel the air is tough, tough to breathe. 
So I'm not doing too much physical today. The, the air is definitely tough. Okay, it's a nice, nice little desk there, pretty clean looking. You know, that kind of thing is nice for someone who needs a desk, right? Maybe a kid or a school, someone from school. It's a good pickup for someone. Okay. It's a fireplace. Oh, I'm blasting it. It's like a smoker's corner here, look. Someone hanging around here smoking cigarettes. We'll take the bottles. Oh, the school bus, the school bus is flying. Probably all the berry pickers are coming off the bus. That's what it is. Okay, so this area is where my duplex used to be. East of there, of some streets, I'm gonna do a little pocket here. I'm done, but I usually come through here. I look long ways. I don't see much, but maybe today will change. Just never know. My location, my house, doesn't look as smoky, but it's really smoky. It's kind of cleared up, actually, to be honest, but it's smoky down there. You can see the red sun. So I think that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.